Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Red Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the data from API response or also we can select how to wait for the response. Okay, it's going to be very simple and I'm going to take a simple exercise for this. So in our website, in our Red Code website, we have this page called um, Elements, right? So here we have to type our GitHub username and then we have to click on this search button so that it will give us all the uh, like the user details and the uh, repos. Okay. So for this, I have used the GitHub public API. So let's see how that works. Uh, so for that, I'm going to get into my network tab. And here you can see that the recording is on. By default, it will be on. Like whatever the request you are going to send, it will capture that and it will give us the request response and few other details. Okay. So here I'm going to pass my username, Tony Casey, and then I'm going to click on this. As soon as I click on this, you can see that we are able to get like uh, what is the name location and bio and apart from that we will also get like how many repos I have or the user have and how many followers as of now I have like 44 uh, thank you guys and I hope I will get like 100 within this year okay and here you can see that how many uh, repos I have that is also listing okay so for that I have used uh, two APIs only one actually but with different endpoint okay so first one is the user uh, like um, api dot api dot github dot com slash users slash username okay that is the first one and second one is the uh, users slash repos so it will tell you like how many uh, what are the repos we have okay so this is the header and he, here you can see that like the status code is like 200 or 400 or 300 whatever we are going to get that will be here okay and here you can see the response like this is the uh, very big response and this one will be a little shorter so i will use this one okay so here you can see that uh, the response you can open this in a new tab so here you can see like uh, name is there the location is there the bio is there and like how many number of users uh, followers and the repository i have okay so we are going to use this and we are going to see how to get the same using playwright okay so it's going to be very simple so let's start now okay so here i have a test and that is like read api uh, response okay and here we are going to this particular website okay now i'm going to use this um, await promise dot all because we are going to solve multiple promises so i'm using promise dot all okay so first we'll wait for the response so for that we have to say like page dot wait for response now we have two things one is the request and another one is the response in this example we'll see the response okay and then it's going to uh, we can do like two ways we can either give the url so if you are waiting for a response from a particular url probably you can pass that or if you want to predicate predicate in the sense if you want to uh, check based on the response then we can use the predicate so here i'm going to do that so for that we'll, we are going to get a response from here and based on that response uh, let me remove this curly braces we don't need okay now here i'm going to check few of the conditions for example let's say that if the response dot status is going to be 200 okay so if it's going to 200 like when we click on this button we are going to search some data right so if it's 200 then only we are able to see all this data right so or uh, let's say that we are going to find something we are going to search and it's take few seconds to load right but i want to uh, interact with this data or maybe like i want to fetch some data from here i have to wait until the response is uh, st response status is 200 right so here we are saying like response uh, the status should be 200 okay now after this uh, let's add the main thing like finding uh, like typing on this text box and clicking on the search button okay so I'm going to use the CSS here. So here we have name equal to username. I'm going to copy that. And here I'm going to say like page dot uh, fill. And then the first one is the locator and second one is the data. So I'm going to pass out to any KC. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the uh, button. So I can say like click and then followed by I can say like button directly. Yeah, so we have only one button so i can directly use the css like button and that is sufficient okay so we are going to type the data and we are going to click on the search button and at the same time we are also getting like response status that is 200 okay now 
this is going to return me the actual response here so i can store that here and then i i'm just going to print it maybe based on your test scenario you can use this response and you can do some validation okay so i'm just going to log that so log await and then response dot json so json means of course it is going to give you the json format okay uh, now let's go and run this so i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm test and in my playwright config already i have given this test file name so it should run this one okay now let's see okay so the browser is launched and it's going to type the test data and it's going to click on the search okay and that is closed and here you can see that we got the response but the response is really big okay what happens means whenever we refresh the page like if you go to the network and if you see here it's actually trying to get all the response like it is going to take the uh, web config some of the add data so it's going to take all the data okay but we are interested to see only that particular response data so we can for that we can write one more predicate here okay so here i can write one more condition predicate is nothing but a condition okay i can say like response dot url and the url we can give like uh, the url or also you can say like dot starts with dot ends with anything is fine just it should return a boolean okay that is what uh, the wait for response should be so here you can see like um yeah it should return a boolean okay that's it very simple so let's go and inspect this one uh, probably i will get this let's go to the network and here i'm going to pass some data and i'm going to search it and here you can see that it is basically uh, no data find actually yeah so we got something with the name a and here you can see that this the header in the header you can see this is the url right so i'm going to take copy this one okay and here it's like um, slash then followed by the data i'm going to pass so i will just copy and paste it however you can use like includes that will check it partially okay so just a string so you can apply all the string functions here okay so now we can expect only that particular url response okay so here you can see that we got the exact response uh, like what we uh, discuss here right so here you can see the same data we got here as well okay um, now uh, we have a very interesting th that's it this topic is that's it very simple so you can get the status and you can check for multiple status code and you can get the url if you are going to fetch only that particular response or also we can give like multiple and conditions and you can see much in detail like response.body and finished frame headers json okay and few other things are there you can just uh, read the documentation it's very easy okay we have one interesting question from one of our subscriber let's see that so he basically asked like uh, prasad verma so he basically asked like uh, you want to check the response body like sometimes it will be in progress and sometimes it will be incompleted so he want to check that okay uh, actually i'm not sure about it because i didn't see any api where i can do some research on that but i will tell you how to read the body maybe that will help you in some way okay so here we have like response dot body and then i can say like dot then and this is going to return me the body and then i can um probably i can log it if i want i can log that or else i can say like uh, return make sure you are going to return it because it needs something to return okay and here i can say like b dot includes uh, something okay um, for example here you can see that in this api response here my name is there right so kaushik chatterjee my name is there so i'm going to check whether the name is there so in your case similarly you can search for like uh, in progress or maybe completed okay but if that's going to dynamic uh, i'm not sure about it but yeah i'll just show you how to read the data okay so for example let's say that i'm going to uh, check the body and within the body i'm going to check like whether this is one how this works is basically this body is going to return me string uh like promise a buffer but when we solve the resolve when we resolve the promises it's going to be like your 
string data type okay so from there actually buffer but kind of string only okay so here we can uh, includes means like we can check so it's like contains function okay now let's go and run this let's see the output so here is our browser yeah so here you can see that it passed basically that means the this includes okay let's say that i'm going to give like oh check let code and that should not be here so if i copy and find it here you can see like it's going to give me zero that means there is no data for this so in this scenario if i run this of course it's going to fail okay so if you want to search anything within the response body probably you can use this uh, or else you can also convert that into a json actually it, it will give us json and then we can use something like load dash uh, with that load dash we can compile the json json file okay uh, probably i will try to make a video on that but for this now i think this is good okay and here you can see that the browser is struct so it will fail after the 30 seconds okay why because this doesn't include this one so of course it's going to the response is wrong here so it's going to fail okay so here you can see our test case got failure okay so that's it very simple thing if you want to wait for your response probably you can use something like this url or the status or even the body okay and um yeah similar similar thing for request as well so if you want to wait for request probably you can use that okay so that's it for this video i will see you in another video um as usual thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tata, bye bye take care